The enemy was always the enemy, and that's what they taught us to believe. And certainly, um, to be in the military and to be a soldier, a good soldier, as um, they want you to be, there's an indoctrination process to that. And in order to storm the hill and risk your life, you need that sort of binary decision making. You need to uh, sort of a black and white attitude about it, where that's the enemy. If you if you have the moment to think in in tones of gray. Well, that guy has a kid and this and, you know, well, you know, maybe he's not so bad. I understand why he hates us. I mean, we'll never fight. It'll never happen. And, and we'll never storm the hill and we'll probably get shot ourselves. So the question then becomes, can you take guys like the Marines and our airborne soldiers, who everyone knows are tough guys, and you can sort of say, we want you to be kinder and gentler and culturally aware. Yes, you can to a certain extent. You can tell them don't be bullies and they'll get that concept. But can you turn them into diplomats or something? No. They're fundamentally killers. They're professional killers because they do it for the sake of the country. But when you say every Marine is a rifleman, what do you do with a rifle? You shoot somebody else. It's a casualty drill. What's going to happen is there will be a role player out there who shoots at them, and then basically the lieutenants will enter this building where they find us. Uh, they're briefed in their order that they're looking for two lost Marines. We're the lost Marines. Uh, the Marine in there has got a head uh, head trauma. That they got they got a uh, treat, and then I'll have an open tib fib fracture with arterial bleeding and a gunshot wound through and through. Um, Basically, they have to come in here, they have a, no, a shoot, no shoot scenario in there. They go in there, the prisoner's being interrogated. They have to decide whether to shoot that guy or to take him uh, EPW. Um, and then they have to treat us and get us men back out of here in time. Every area of operations is different. Every town, every village has a different mix. And we need to find what's the truth and what's the perception there, because frequently perception is more important than actual truth anyway, and particularly in the society there. And we need to base our actions on the truth that we find, not the truth that we find from talking to each other as Americans, but on the truth that we find from talking to Iraqis about what they see and what they think.